In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a tangent line, like this problem that you see on the board. But let's go over some basic information. So what is a tangent line? Let's say if we have a curve, the tangent line is a line that touches the curve at exactly one point. So that will be the tangent line. In order to find the equation of the tangent line, there's two things that we need. We need the point at which the tangent line touches the curve. And so we need the x and the y coordinate of that point, which we have that in this problem. And the second thing that we need is the slope of the tangent line. So how can we find the slope of the tangent line? We could find it by taking the first derivative of the function and evaluating it at the x-coordinate of the point that touches the curve and the tangent line. So those are the two things that we need. We need the slope and we need the x-y-coordinate of the point where the tangent line touches the curve. Now once we have those two things, we can now use this formula, that is the point-slope formula, in order to write the equation of the tangent line. So let's go ahead and begin. So we already have our point, and so we can see that x1 is 1, y1 is 12. All we need to do is calculate the slope of the tangent line. So we're going to do that by finding the first derivative, f prime of x. And just to review, the derivative of x to the n Let's say if you have a variable raised to a constant, basically the power rule, it's n x to the n minus 1. So the derivative of x raised to the fourth power is going to be, we can see that n is 4, so it's 4 x to the 4 minus 1, or 4 x cubed. And so that's the derivative of the first term, x to the fourth power. Now let's use that same process for everything else. So what is the derivative of x cubed? Don't worry about the 5, but what's the derivative of x cubed using this process? The derivative of x cubed is going to be 3x to the 3 minus 1, which is 3x squared. Now we need to multiply by 5 according to the constant multiple rule. So this is what we now have. Now the derivative of x squared is 2x to the first power. And the derivative of a constant is always 0. So we don't have to worry about that. Now 5 times 3 is 15. And 9 times 2 is 18. So this is the first derivative of the function. Now we can calculate the slope of the tangent line. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to take our x value, which is 1, and plug it into this expression. So the slope of the tangent line will be f prime of 1. And so that's going to be 4 times 1 raised to the third power plus 15 times 1 squared plus 18 times 1. So that turns out to be 4 plus 15 plus 18. 15 plus 18, that's 33, plus 4, that's 37. So the slope of the tangent line is 37. So now that we have the slope and we have the x and the y coordinates of the point where the tangent line touches the curve, we can now use this formula. So y1 is 12, m is 37, and x1 is 1. So this is the answer, but in something known as point-slope form. Now some teachers, they might be okay with you writing your answer like this. 
Others, they may want you to write it in slope intercept form. So that is in y equals mx plus b form. And so to get it in slope intercept form, what you need to do is isolate the y variable in the equation. So what we're going to do is distribute the 37 first. So this is going to be 37x minus 37. And then in the next step, we're going to add 12 to both sides. And so this is going to be y is equal to 37x. And then negative 37 plus 12, that's negative 25. And so this right here is the equation of the tangent line in slope intercept form. So now you know how to find it. Now let's work on number two. Write the equation of the tangent line to the graph of f of x, which equals x cubed times ln x at x equals 1. So feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. So remember, in order to write the equation of the tangent line, we need the slope of the tangent line, and we need the x and the y coordinates of the point where the tangent line touches the curve. Right now, we only have the x coordinate, but we do not have the y coordinate. So let's write down what we know. We know that x1 is 1. We need to find y1 and the slope of the tangent line. This should not be a 1 here. That should be a question mark. So how can we calculate y1? What do we need to do? We need to use the original function, f of x. y1 is basically equal to the function evaluated at x1. So what we need to do is we need to plug in x equals 1 into that function. So y1 is going to be f of 1, which is 1 to the third times the natural log of 1. Now, the, the natural log of 1 is always 0. So in this case, y1 is 0. So that's the first thing we need to do. The second thing is that we need to find the derivative. So we need to determine f prime of x. So what is the derivative of x cubed times the natural log of x? What would you say? We need to use the product rule. The derivative of f times g is going to be the derivative of the first part, f, or f prime, times the second part, where it's unchanged, so that's g, plus the first part times the derivative of the second part. So we can say that f is the first part of that function. So f is x cubed, which means that f prime is going to be the derivative of that, which is 3x squared. The second part, g, that's going to be the natural log of x. And so g prime, the derivative of ln x, is 1 over x. Now, for those of you who may need to review some uh, derivative techniques, such as uh, differentiating natural log functions, or things like the product rule, quotient rule, chain rule, and other stuff like that, Check out the links in the description section below, and I'm going to post some other videos that might be useful to you. So let's get back to this one. So using this formula, we have f prime, which is 3x squared, times g. So g is just uh, ln x, and then plus f, which is x cubed, and then times g prime which is 1 over x. And so that's how you could use the product rule to find the derivative of a function. Now, we need to calculate the slope of the tangent line. And we're going to evaluate f prime of x at our x coordinate, which our x coordinate is 1. So this is going to be 3 times 1 squared times the natural log of 1 plus. Now, x cubed divided by x, that's x squared. So we're going to have 1 squared. 
Now, as we said before, the natural log of 1 is 0, so this completely disappears. And then plus 1 squared, which is 1. Thus, the slope of the tangent line is equal to 1. Now, once we have the x and y coordinate of the point and a slope, we can now use the point-slope formula to write the equation of the tangent line. So y1 is 0, the slope m is 1, and x1 is also 1. So we could basically ignore this 0. And thus our equation simplifies to y is equal to x minus 1. And this is it. So now you know how to find the equation of a tangent line. So that's basically it for this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching.